I got offered the opportunity to audition for The Avengers. This is Mrs. Peel. And uh, the deal was you went to Elstree, you had to wear tight black trousers and a black sweater, and you had to do a dialogue scene with Patrick, I think, and then you had to do a fight scene. And there was a fight arranger there called Ray Austin. Extraordinary crimes against the people and the state have to be avenged by agents extraordinary. Two such people are John Steed, top professional, and his partner, Emma Peel, talented amateur, otherwise known as the Avengers. <laughs> Shall we go? Next. Next. But suddenly I was working 12, 14 hours a day, learning lines very quickly and delivering them very quickly. Patrick Nee was absolutely charming and, and helpful and kind. Come in. Oh. Are you sure you can afford the time for all this junk of things? Eh? Hey, fight it, Mrs. Beale. We're inseparable. It is the distance between two people which is the most interesting thing. It's never the clinch. It's always the dialogue before the clinch, or the silence before the clinch. Well, I did, but Diana didn't. She's younger and more beautiful, and she got it immediately. But I was left there, I remember thinking, what does he mean? Patrick and I had a great deal of fun together, because we both had a, a sense of the absurd, and uh, <laughs> quite, quite a lot of absurd situations. Um, finding dead bodies every week was quite funny. I remember discovering three in one night. One was in the closet, another one was underneath the bed, and the third one arrived on my breakfast tray. It was a four-star hotel. It's been quite a night. When it came to the fighting, I had a fight double, but I, I did quite a lot myself. Duck! was very much of, of its time and of my time. And, um, the, I mean, there were all sorts of uh, examples of that, not least of which was the fashion. Looking or buying? Buying. Boyfriend, husband, lover. Does it make any difference to the tie? Certainly. And suddenly I was being dressed by John Bates. Very, very modern. Short skirts and jumpsuits. Emma Peel represented independence, free thinking, capable of just about anything that a fella could do. That was a good part to play. I wasn't, if you like, I wasn't an innovator, but I was definitely a banner carrier. And suddenly there was this explosion of women being honest, straightforward. Yeah, it was wonderful. I suppose the early ones I remember most was the one called the Cybernauts, which was one of the very early ones which I did because I was extremely nervous. It was the first one. Mrs. Peel! I remember having to wear this snake on my arm for an entire day. 
And the snake handler was terribly sweet. He said, you know, he could pee any minute now. And I thought, oh, please, no. I don't need that. <laughs> Mrs. Peel, when needed. Filming was, was, of course, very different, and I had to learn very quickly to scale down and um, to internalize a lot more because the camera picks up a great... I think there is a danger, obviously, um, and it's up to anybody who is playing something like this to do something as completely different as possible, as soon as possible. I suppose it gave me more confidence uh, as an actress. Um, the sort of things that I learned filming The Avengers, I had to unlearn when I then made other films because there, um, there's a technical expertise which you get very quickly if you're filming five minutes a day for 52 weeks a year. And it's not always to your benefit when you go to make a film. I think the blurred edges sometimes are rather more interesting. Always keep your bowler on in times of stress. Watch out.